The Lord God is so great. Welcome to the sanctuary. And for those who came for the first time, we welcome you here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord God is so great. Praise the name of Jesus Christ because this month of March, we are going to celebrate the month of proof of faith. And praise the Lord that the Lord says, people of God, that without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is impossible to please God without faith. This is the message of the Lord. It says, faith is not an emotion. It is a decision to act and to believe that everything that is written in the word of God is true and has life. Do you believe that, people of God? That everything that is written in the word of God is true. Amen. John 1.1, 1, 1, it says that the word of God is God himself. And everything that is written, people of God, hallelujah, in his word is true. And because there is truth in the words of God, the truth sets us free. Amen. The truth sets us free from all our fears, from all our doubts, from all our insecurities, from all people of God, our sickness, from all the burdens, from all the struggles, from all that anxiety, stress, and depression. And praise the name of Jesus Christ because we are serving the God that nothing is impossible to Him. The Lord God is able. Amen. Say to the one seated beside you, God is able. Ooh, God is able to do greater things in your life. God is able to solve your problem. God is able to answer your question. God is able to turn your to turn your mess into a message. God is able to turn your testing into a testimony. God is able to turn your pain into a victory. Praise the name of Jesus Christ that even some of you, you are facing people of God, this battle in your life. Physical battle, emotional battle, spiritual battle. But the Lord God assured each one of us that he has given us the faith and faith to believe people of God that in Christ we are more than conquerors. Amen. Hallelujah. Again the word says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 but without faith it is impossible to walk. Without faith it is impossible to walk and to please God. For whoever comes near to God must necessarily believe. Do you believe, people of God, that God is the author and the perfecter of your faith? Amen. And because the Lord God is the author and the perfecter of your faith, the Lord God also, hallelujah, will prove to you, hallelujah, He is the God who answers beyond your request. And the Lord God says, for those who, who seek Him, for those who seek Him earnestly, for those who seek Him, hallelujah, seriously, the Lord God says, for those who seek Him diligently, God will reward them. Amen. Because as we seek the Lord, people of God, seriously, our faith increases. Our faith increases. And praise the Lord that God is the author. He is the perfecter. He is our everything. Listen, people of God, to the prophecy that the Lord God gave to us as a Jewish family for this month of March. It says, I will put a wall between the faithful and the unfaithful, says God. Hallelujah. See the word faithful. Unfaithful. Hallelujah. People of God, when you say faithful, it divided into two words, the faith and the fool. Amen. Hallelujah. And because your faith, people of God, is full, the Lord God addressed and gave you a title, faithful. Hallelujah. And for those who are faithful in small things, I will give them much. Even the blessings that they did not ask, I will give. Say amen. Even the blessings that they say they don't deserve to receive, I will give. Say amen. Hallelujah. This People will represent my generosity, says the Lord. But those who are greedy and unfaithful will suffer hunger and thirst, says God. Do you have no money? As I have said to my people during those days, come and buy milk and honey without a cost. Why do you always worry for things that are temporal and easily broken? Why do you easily forget the things that I have done before and what I am faithfully doing now? Do you believe that my name is a great I am, a covenant keeper and a keeper of your soul? For those who rely on me, 
they will not suffer shame and insults from their enemies. For those who love me, I will connect their umbilical cords to my heart, says God, so they can breathe a breath of new life and a new hope all the days of their lives, says God. Be merciful to those who need mercy. Be generous to those who are in need. For what you have done to them, you are doing it for me, and you will not lose your eternal reward, says the Lord of hosts. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Today, people of God, let us embrace the faith that the Lord God gave to us. According, people of God, to the text that we read in, in Hebrews chapter 11, and Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, the, the, it gives us, people of God, the accurate definition of this, the meaning of this faith, of the word faith. According to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, it says, Faith, it is a confident assurance that what we hope for is going to happen. Do you believe that? Amen. It is a confident assurance that what you hope for is going to happen. If Pastor Augusto Agustin believed that the Lord God, hallelujah, will continue to extend his, his life, it will come into reality. And as you love is the goodness of the Lord in the extension of your life, the Lord God will strengthen you. The Lord God will give you his joy so that his joy will be your strength. And praise the name of Jesus Christ so we can say today, because of what the Lord God has done on the cross, then I may boldly declare in decree that I am more than conqueror in his name. And I am so happy and I believe and I am confident. I have this confident assurance that what I believe, that what I hope for, it will come into reality. It will come into pass. It will come into pass. Because everything that the Lord God promised to you, if you believe, people of God, hallelujah, both of your naked eye will see on how the Lord God will do greater things, people of God, beyond of your expectation. Hallelujah. Sa paghimoon sa ginoon sa imo kabuhi. Hallelujah. Believe and you will receive. John 14, 14, it says, If you ask anything in my name, in prayer, and believe, the Lord Jesus says, I will do it. The word of God is true. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So faith, people of God, starts in hope. It is, it is the evidence of things we cannot see. In Hebrews, people of God, in Hebrews, Chapter 11, verse 1 again, it says in an amplified translation, Now faith is the assurance. It is a title deed. It is a confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen. The conviction of the reality. Of, of reality. Faith comprehends as fact that what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. According people of God to Hebrew, it gives us this accurate definition that faith sees what your physical eyes, hallelujah, can never cease. Amo ginayang pagtuo. Faith sees what your physical eyes can never see. Look at people of God. The best example for this is the woman who bleed for 12 years. Both of his naked eye, people of God, wala nakita. But his ma in her mind, in her heart, he says, if I only touch the edge of his cloak, then I will receive my perfect healing. Then I will receive my complete healing. Lo and behold, people of God, the Lord God answer here declaration that even the word, hallelujah, is only in her mind. Hallelujah. It's only in her mind. But the Lord God sees people of God and read the word that is in her mind. The Lord God knows what is in her heart. The Lord God knows what is the need of that woman who bleed for 12 years. He lost everything. He lost his, she lost his, her riches. She lost her family. She lost her dignity. But praise the name of Jesus. When Jesus came, people of God. Hallelujah. Rabaguma shikata. And when she opened her hearts unto the Lord. And when she received people of God, that faith that comes from God, instantly people of God, she received her healing because she believed that God is able. Faith sees what your physical eyes can never see. Faith knows what your natural mind can never comprehend. Like a story, people of God, of the disciples of Jesus Christ, 
When Jesus asked them, do you have a catch? Hallelujah. And Peter answered Jesus, Tungang gabi na kami din, nagabihan na kami, wala man kami gapon hulik. But the Lord Jesus said to them, throw your nets on the other side. Throw your nets on the other side. But because of the greater faith, people of God, that is in their hearts, they believe that God is a miraculous working God. Then they throw their nets on the other side. And to God be all the glory that even the fishes, people of God, obey to the voice of their obedience. Faith possesses what your physical arms can never hold. Hallelujah. Like the story of Bartimaeus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When Jesus, people of God, asked him, do you want to receive your sight? Instantly, people of the Lord, hallelujah, he jumped. He jumped, people of God. Rabagaya sikata. And he rejoiced because the word, hallelujah, the Lord God releases, brings healing, people of God, not only to his soul, but brings healing to his sight. Faith says yes to everything God declares to be true. The Lord God says that all promises of the Lord is yes for him and amen for you. Why you agreed and say amen? Because you believe that God is able. Because you believe that God never tell a lie. What is faith? Faith is not an emotion. It is a decision to stand on God's word. Amen. It is a decision to stand on God's word. Because we know we believe that in Luke 1 37 says, For with God, nothing is or ever shall be impossible. Hallelujah. Sa Diyos nga ginapangalagda naton, wala gid sang imposible. Hallelujah. It is impossible, people of God, sa tao, but in God, nothing is impossible. In God, nothing is impossible. So faith stands upon everything God says is certain. It leans upon everything God says unmovable. It counts upon everything God says will come to pass. What you are going to do is just to believe and know that God is great. Amen. When the Lord God says, be still and know that I am your God. Let us embrace the word, people of God, because the word of God is true. The word of God is true. When I am pondering the message and the theme for this month of March, the Lord God downloaded me this fresh revelation and praise the Lord for this. Because in these last days, people of God, the Lord is preparing something greater, something beautiful, something glorious beyond our human com uh, comprehension to understand, people of God, the mystery and the strong manifestation of the Holy Spirit in our now's journey. And in these last days, for us to see the proof of our faith, we should know also in what generation we are belong. Hallelujah. In what generation we are belong, we should also know the weapon given to each generation that motivates them, people of God, to upgrade their faith, for them to see the fulfillment of all promises that the Lord God given to each one of them. Praise the name of Jesus. So mabalaan mo karon ko ano ang generasyon ni Modera kung sa diin ikaw na tawo kag ano ang ginauyata nimo. So let us consider people of God the generation names. The greatest generation are the people born in 1901 and 1924. Hallelujah. And they are called people of God the greatest generation. And I asked the Lord, Lord, hallelujah, this greatest generation, nga natawo 1901 and 1924, diin na sila ayon nga generasyon. And praise the name of Jesus Christ when the spirits of the Lord put this revelation in my heart when it says, it is a Moses generation. And you know, people of God, that Moses generation, what are the weapons? The weapons, people of God, is only a staff. Right? It's only a stop. But the result is so amazing. The signs and wonders and miracles. Look at people of God, those missionaries, those evangelists, those people of God, pastors, those prophets, those teachers of the words, those people of God, apostles during those days. They perform signs and wonders that even some of them are schooled. Biskan ang ibang sila wala naka-eskwila. Some of them, people of God, hallelujah, nagalakat sa mission field without any amount. Without any 
resources, but they are willing people of God to sacrifice because people of God, they belong to this Moses generation. They belong to the greatest generation. Signs and wonders when they are doing the crusades. Revival took place, people of God. To God be all the glory. Church, the story of Moses appears in the book of Exodus. Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy in the Bible. And Exodus contains most of Moses' early story, including his childhood, the leading the Israelites out of slavery, while Deuteronomy functions as his farewell address to the Israelites. I am giving you people of God this accurate information for you to understand that the Lord God from then, hallelujah, sang una pa, the Lord God is doing mighty things. When the Lord God in our time, He says that you have to do a special reset. The Lord God is doing a divine reset, people of God. That in our times, we hear revival, hear revival there. It is, people of God, the greatest generation. We, we feel, people of God, and we smell the anointing of Moses. They have only the staff, people of God. They have only the staff. Praise the name of Jesus. But hallelujah, the result is amazing. The result is amazing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And Joshua chapter 1, verse 1 and 10. It says, people of God, now it happened after the death of Moses, the servants of the Lord, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun. Hallelujah. Moses' servant attendant saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, say to the one seated beside you, arise. Arise to take his place. Amen. Arise to take his place. Hallelujah. Cross over this Jordan, you and all these people, into the land which I am giving to them. To the sons of Israel, I have given to every place on which the sole of your foot trees, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness to Arabia in the south, in this Lebanon on the north, even as far as the great river, the river of Euphrates in the east, all the land of the Hittites, Canaan, as far as the great Mediterranean Sea towards the west shall be your territory. No man will be able to stand before you to oppose you as long as you live. Just as I was present with Moses, so will I be with you. I will not fail you nor abandon you. Praise God for that message. Be strong. Say to the one seated beside you, be strong and confident and courageous. For you will give these people as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers and ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Be careful to do everything in accordance with the entire law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left so that you may prosper and be successful wherever you go. Praise God. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall read, you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will be successful. Have I not commanded you, say to the one seated beside you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or dismayed, intimidated, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. As I ponder people of God in digging deeper to this word, the Spirit of the Lord causes me to understand because we thought for a while that this generation, people of God, is a Joshua's generation. And we always declare that the only generation that we know is Joshua's generation, right? The only, the, the only generation that we know and the only generation which is familiar to us is a Joshua's generation. generation. But if we are pondering people of God, the story of Joshua, Joshua is silent. That's the reason why the Lord God visited Joshua and gave him an accurate information that Joshua, you need to arise. Kaya nagpahimunong naging lang niya si Joshua. Wala na niya ni Gugio si Joshua. 
Hallelujah. Joshua, you need to arise. Why the Lord God said to Joshua that you have to take courage, that you have to be courageous and do not be intimidated. Because people of God, Joshua, may ara siya nga kahadlok sa iya tagipusoon. May ara siya nga intimidation sa iya tagipusoon. Nga base, hindi naman sila kahangom sa akon. And again, they will persecute me. And, and again, they will, they will, they will uh, try to stone me to death. Same what happened when I am at the wilderness. So the Lord God reminded Joshua, you have to arise. And I asked the spirits of the Lord, Lord God, hallelujah. I know in a generation, see Joshua, praise the name of the Lord. And the Lord God, people of God, revealed it to me that the people, the people who were born in 1925, in 1945, are the silent generation. They are the Joshua's generation. Hallelujah. They are the silent generation. But the weapon people of God is so amazing. The weapon is so amazing because the Joshua's generation, the weapon is the word of God. When the Lord God says to Joshua, Joshua, you want success, you want victory, you want prosperity, then meditate my words day and night. Listen to this, beloved people of God. The encouragement of the Lord to Joshua is not only to read the word of God, the encouragement of the Lord to Joshua is not only to listen to the word of God. The encouragement of the Lord to Joshua is to meditate the words of God. Hallelujah. Because the word of God will lead us into the path of glory. The word of God has power to strengthen us. The word of God has power, people of God, to take all that, all that fear, to take all that doubt, to take all the spirit of intimidation. Hallelujah. In our lives, everything that black people of God, hallelujah, sa ato na kadalagan, pwede maguba sa pulong sa ginoo. Because there is power in the words of God. That is the weapon of Joshua. Hallelujah. You know, people of God, because of that, the result is acquiring wisdom, prosperity, and property. During those days, people of God, Joshua, hallelujah, Joshua, people of God, defeat his enemy. And the Lord God gave him a weapon on how to defeat his enemy in silence. And silence, people of God, they defeated and they destroyed the walls of the eye. Do you remember that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Almighty God. The Lord God is so great. The Lord God is so awesome. Judges chapter 1. Hallelujah. Verse 1 and 2. This is so amazing. But before we proceed, people of God, to that, hallelujah, let's, let's uh, return back to Joshua. Joshua defeated his enemy in silence weapon. Hallelujah. In Joshua chapter 8, then the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Take the whole army with you and go and attack Ei. For I have delivered you into your hands, the king of Ei, his people, his city in his land. He destroyed the place of B.I. And people of God destroyed the walls of Jericho. Hallelujah. And the weapon people of God. Hallelujah. Is silence. But at the end of the seventh day, people of God of the Jericho walk, they shouted that God is a God of victory. God is a God of battle. Hallelujah. They shouted the word of God. So if you have this people of God, conviction in your heart that you are now imparted. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. May ara ikaw gin impart isa imo. May ara ikaw nga il, nga 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 manifestation with this Joshua's generation. Nga makahambag ka nga ara gikuya sa Joshua's generation. The question is this. Hallelujah. Ano kadalom ang pulong sa Ginoo nga gin meditate nimo? Hallelujah. The word of God is very important people of God in our end times walk. Thank you Lord Jesus. What's next? In Judges chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, this is so amazing. This is so amazing. Because it says, people of God, now it came after, uh, it came about after the death of Joshua. Hallelujah. And Joshua, after the death of Moses. But in Judges, it says, after the death of Joshua, that the son descendants of Israel, Jacob, asked the Lord, who shall go? Who shall go up first to us against the Canaanites? 
to fight against them. And the Lord said, Judah. Judah shall go up first. Behold, I have given the land into his hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I asked the Lord, Lord God, hallelujah. Ano ang imubuot silingon sini? Hallelujah. And praise the name of Jesus Christ that those people who were born in 1946 and 1964, we call them what? Baby boomer generation. Like Pastor Augustine. Hallelujah. Amen. The baby boomers generation. The Judas generation that they roar people of God. Their voice is so loud. Their voices is so strong people of God. And to God be all the glory that the weapon people of God of this Judas generation are worship and praise. Woo! Who among you in this room born people of God? 1946 and 1964. Can you please raise your hand? Praise God. Can you please raise your hand? Can you please raise your hand? And may I request you, can you please stand up? Hallelujah. Atong natawo, baby boomer. Woo! Palakpakan natin ang ginoo. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang ginoo. Praise the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray and I declare that this baby boomer, so Lord God, the Judas generation in this church, they will roar, oh Lord God, the roaring lion of Judah will roar upon them and they will not be afraid, O Lord, that even there is a manifestation, O Lord God, of old age, but they will not be afraid because the Lord God strengthening your soul. The Lord God is saying this to each one of you today. Starting today, you will experience the strength as if you are only 40 years old. Praise God. Can you please sit down? Hallelujah. We are so blessed, people of God, that we have a boomer's generation here. And we have people of God, the silent generation. Pastor Augustine is in the silent generation. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why the Lord God called him as an intercessor of the church. Without you knowing, people of God, that every day, hallelujah, Mama Sencha and Pastor Augusto Augustine, kneeling down at the presence of the Lord in silence. Hallelujah. Backing us up in prayer. That's the reason why we are still here because we have the silence generation we have the generation people of God of Joshua that is willing to fight the battle in a silence people of God Rick journey Rick Oku, and praise the name of Jesus that we have a Joshua's generation in this church a man and woman of praise and worship Woo! and what are the result the result is this invading the land we are now in judah invading the land acquiring properties and prosperity when the people ask bff when they ask who will be with us to fight the Canaanites. It means people of god who will be with us to finish the work at the promised land that is you baby boomer Woo! Hallelujah! So the proof of faith is so amazing. The Lord God has given them weapon, people of God, is a praise and worship Judah. Let us bless the name of Jesus. Judah, let us worship the name of Jesus. Judah, let us magnify the name of Jesus. Judah, the only weapon that we have is to praise him. The only weapon that we have is to glorify him. The only weapon that we have is to bless his name. And the result is this, you will finish the battle. Woo! Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I ask the Lord, what's next, O oh Lord? To complete this generation, what's next? And now the people, people of God embracing this. And praise God, those people who were born at 1965, 1979, raise your hand. Upon ko Amen, amen. 1965. 1979, can you please stand up? Hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. Plapakantang ginoo, plapakantang ginoo. Woo! Hallelujah, praise God, praise God. Thank you so much, can you please sit down to God be all the glory. I ask the Lord God, hallelujah, what is the anointing and the weapon and the results of these people who born for at 1965, 1979, who are still alive? And this is so amazing, people of God, representation of the Holy Spirit because they are the 
Isaac's anointing. After this Judas, people of God who roar, the Lord God has given us the Isaac's anointing. With this people of God, the, God, the weapon, the weapon is this, God's divine anointing envelope on the prayers. The Joshua's generation are now the prophetic intercessors. And the result, people of God, is so amazing. And the result, people of God, is so amazing. Oh, mighty Jesus. The Isaacar generation, I mean. God's divine anointing envelope under prayers. Praise God. This Isaacar is a name on the ninth son of Jacob. And Jacob was also called Israel. God is raising up those who desire to operate in the Isaacar's anointing. He is getting ready to pour out fresh oil upon the kids. This remnant refuses to sit back. Woo! <laughs> they are to mobilize and move to the front line. generation. They are pioneers in the spirit and are eager to envelop new ideas, new situation, and move into a new and a higher level. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Isaac recognized, people of God, what is happening in the spirit. They see the corruption. Hallelujah. It's connection to the times. That's the reason why, people of God, the first result is they are the intercessory prayer warrior. And the another result is spiritually awake and alert. Amen. They are spiritually awake and alert. They are connected people of God to the Lord. And praise the name of Jesus. It's connection to the times with that discernment, with that understanding. They pray, they pray for family. They pray for the members of the family. They pray for the neighbors. They pray for the provinces. They pray for the city. They pray for the nation. And all of the prayers, people of God, are so amazing. Because this Isaacar, Isaacar uh, generation, the content of their prayer is not people of God focused on their knees. But focus people of God to the intercessions of heaven, spiritually awake and alert. And the results, they understand the times. The discernment people of God is so amazing. The Lord God has given them a divine illumination. They do not run and hide. They rise and shine. Amen. They rise and shine. As the Lord God says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, Arise and shine for the light has come and the glory of the Lord will shine on you. And the result, people of God, act when wickedness is released. And because of that discernment, and because of that discernment, people of God, the Lord God causes them to see what is happening behind the scene. Woo! Amen. You see, people of God, this Isaac's generation, without you knowing the Lord God from, you, from, the mom, from the womb of your mom, the Lord God already anointed you to become a prophetic people. Hallelujah. Which the Lord God has opened the eye of your spirit for you to see everything, people of God, behind the scene. The act when, uh, when wickedness is released has a radical devotion to Yeshua in the things of God. These are people of God, the results, and the, 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 the strong manifestations, hallelujah, of the Isaac are anointing because the Lord God has given them the weapon, people of God, which is enveloped by prayer and intercessions. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord God says, what's next? People who are born, Ang mga tao nga na bata, 1980-1994. Can you please raise your hand? Praise God. 1980-1984. They are the millennials. Hallelujah. Amuna ni sila ang mga millennials. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I ask the Lord, ano ang nag-envelope sa ila ginoo? And praise the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord God revealed to his servant. Hallelujah. That the strong manifestations, people of God, of this Jacob's anointing upon these people who were born 1980 in 1994, they are the Jacob's generation. 
and you see people of God, the weapon, the covenant blessings. It is very important, people of God, that the parents will release the blessings to their children. Amen. This is people of God, the catch. Every cursing word that will release to our children. Today, people of God, let us nullify it. In the name of Jesus, let us declare that it will not come to pass to the lives of our children. Let us approve every message that were released to them. Thank you, God. And you see, people of God, the result is, the result, acquiring properties and prosperity, changing of names, receives forgiveness. This is so amazing. The Joshua's and the millennials, people of God, these are the benefits and the blessing that the Lord God intended for you. But the enemy is trying to snatch this because he knows, people of God, that the result is getting higher and greater. Hallelujah. Jacob, he acquired property in a place of his uncle Laban. The Lord God prospered him. But the Lord God changed his name. It means people of God that this generation, they will encounter the Lord in a highest level. Was the Lord God will change their name. It means people of God, the sin of their fathers, they will not carry it in the name of Jesus. The sins of their forefathers, they will not carry it, people of God. All curses that releases to them that even the meaning attached to their name, even the curses that attach to their name, pain that attached to their name, people of God. When this millennial people, will millennial generation and Jacob's generation will return back to the Lord, God is able to change them their names. God is able to change their lives. They will receive forgiveness. They will receive love. They will acquire many things. Millennials, kamustang inyo kabuhi? The covenant blessings, people of God, makwa lang natin sa pulong sa ginao. Amen. That's the reason why also that you need to pray for your parents. So that your parents will come to know the Lord. So that they can lay their hands to you. The Isaacars, people of God, generation will lay their hands to you. So that you can have people of God, that weapon of praise and worship. That even the Joshua's generation, that even you fight your enemy and win the, won the battle in a silent mood, people of God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The baby boomers, people of the Lord, praise the name of Jesus Christ. When the Lord God bless them, hallelujah, with this Judas anointing, the praise and the worship, hallelujah. And the result is so amazing. The enemy is trying to snatch people of God, the results. And the enemy is trying to hide that weapon. Because we don't know people of God. Another one. After the generation or the millennials, we call that mga kabataan nga natawo, 1995 to 2012. Hallelujah. Din tawag nato ni na sila nga Generation Z. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Generation Z, I ask the Lord, ano nga journey ang inasunda nila? You know, people of God, this is so amazing. Why? Because these children born 1995 to 2012, they are people of God. Hallelujah. naga sila with this Joseph journey. Joseph's generation. Weapon, dream. Hallelujah. And others, the, the synonyms of this word dream, people of God, is ambition. Look at what happened, people of God, to this generation Z. Wala na sila gana mag kay wala na sila ambition. Kaya nga, ah, nahuyog na sila sa ano? sa introduce ng kalibutan gadgets. And because of that, people of God, some of them forfeited the results, people of God. Hallelujah. Or the promises attached to their generation. Acquiring highest favor and positions. Acquiring greatest pros properties and prosperity. Releases forgiveness and restoration. Thank you, Lord Jesus. These children born people of God is so amazing. 
When the Lord God has given them a dream, when the Lord God says, people of God, from the scripture of Joel, that in these last days you will dream dreams, you will see vision. And because of that, you will be inspired. And these people of God, the result is getting higher and greater. Praise the name of Jesus. You may be able to see the story, hallelujah, of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37 and Genesis chapter 37 to chapter 50. That you may be able, people of God, to understand on how the Lord God blesses him. On how the Lord God blesses him. So amazing. And this is people of God, the greater one. Mga kabataan nga na tao, 2013 to 2025, gintawag na sila nga Generation Alpha. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Generation Alpha. And you know, people of the Lord, this is so great. When I ask the Lord God, Kay sino nga journey ang ginausoy nila. After the Joseph people of God, the Lord says, it's Manasseh's generation. Manasseh people of God is the youngest son of Joseph. But Manasseh received a double portion. Although Ephraim is the eldest one, received the birthright, the blessings of Manasseh are also great because of what was promised to all the posterity of Joseph. You may be able to, to see people of God and read the story of Manasseh and Ephraim in Genesis chapter 49 to 22 and 26 and also in Deuteronomy chapter 33, 13 to 17. The tribe of Manasseh listened to this. Moses' blessing of the tribe of Joseph which was given also to Ephraim and Manasseh, is recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 33, 13 to 17. Their assigned land was partly west of the Jordan and next to Ephraim. To God be all the glory. Lantawa niyo bala kung ano gali ang blessing na nagahulat sa sining mga kabataan niya natawo with this alpha generation or generation alpha. The result is acquiring a double portion. And Deuteronomy chapter 33, we may be able to read, hallelujah, that says, And of Joseph, he said, Blessed be the Lord, his, his land. Blessed, blessed by the Lord. Blessed by, by the Lord be his land. With the precious things of heaven, with the dew, and from the deep water that lies beneath. With the precious fruit of sun, and with the precious produce of the month. With the best things of the ancient mountains, and with the precious things of the everlasting hills. Hallelujah. Let us continue. With the precious things of the earth in its fullness, and the favor of goodwill of him who dwelt in a bush. Let this blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the crown of the head. He, of him who was distinguished as a prince among his brothers. His majesty is like the firstborn young ball, and his horns like the horns of the wild ox. With them he will gore the peoples, all of them together to the ends of the earth. And those are in 10,000 of Ephraim, and those are the thousands of Manasseh. Hallelujah. The alpha generation people of God will receive this amazing promise. Was the enemy is trying to snatch the blessings that the Lord God intended for our children. See what happened now people of God, the alpha generation. Hallelujah. Confused ganin sila sa language. Kun ano gyud ang dialect nga dapat nga gamiton. Some of them people of God at the age of 6 they don't know how to speak. They don't know how to read. Some of them, people of God, they don't know how to understand Hiliganon. They are so confused. And the enemy is trying to use, people of God is not only trying to use, but the enemy is so eager, people of God, to introduce this what? Hallelujah. This internet, this social media, this gadget, this YouTube, in order to snatch the revelation that the Lord God is trying to give, people of God, to our children in this alpha generation. Hallelujah. So church, then I asked the Lord God, then what's next? 
if there is an alpha, there is an omega. Amen. We don't know people of God, San Omag end. But this is what I believe that the generation Omega is a Jesus journey. Jesus' journey. And the weapon is the Holy Spirit. The results are signs, wonders, and miracles. And this is the message of the Lord. John chapter 14, verse 12. I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, anyone who believes in me, a Savior, will also do the things that I do. And they will do even greater things than this and extent and outreach. Because I am going to the Father. And he sent his Spirit. And the Lord says, hallelujah, hallelujah, no weapon formed against the church shall prosper. If you will read, people of God, the John chapter 14, verse 1 and 3. This is so amazing. Do not be afraid. Do not be cowardly. Believe confidently in and trust in Him. Have faith. Hold on to it. Rely on it. Keep going and believe also in me. In my Father's house, I made it to the places. If it were not so, I would have told you. Because I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again. And I will take you to myself. So that where I am, you will be close. Time is running. As the Lord God says in Matthew chapter 24, but the days and the days will be hard for the same time. Now, people of God, the Omega Hallelujah Chair. Who are baby boomers? My 